Hi everyone! Uh, today I wanted to show you this automatic 2-speed gearbox which was uh, partially inspired by the gearboxes that the brilliant Technic Brick Power makes. So I suggest you check that channel. There are awesome ideas for the various uh, LEGO Technic gearboxes there. Now, for my gearbox, I decided to try something different. Instead of using a differential to sense the torque to switch the gears, I'm actually using the motor itself as a torque sensing device. So that the higher the resistance, the more the motor wants to turn. Now, to resist the turning, I'm using a combination of two, uh, two, two different uh, mechanisms. First, the rubber band is designed so that once the resistance is high enough, it switches about 180 degrees. As you can see, the rubber bands get stretched more and more uh, depending on the resistance. The second thing is I'm using a shock absorber here. Now this shock, shock absorber gives the gearbox, the switching mechanism, bistable characteristics. So it's stable either in this position or in this position. This, fo uh, this forces the gearbox to stay in low or high gear and it really doesn't like to stay in neutral gear, which is something what we want. Finally, we have the switch, the switching wave here and the gears. This gearbox only uses four gears, two at once, so it's very efficient and it's very useful for like uh, in, to be used in the models and things like that. So let's see how it works. So I'm gonna turn it on. So as you can see, this is now the high gear and the wheel is spinning normally. Now once we put resistance, you can see that the motor starts to turn. Once the resistance is high enough, the gearbox switches to the low gear. And once we let go, the gearbox switches back to the high gear. It may take a few tries, but usually it switches to the low gear once needed. And once the resistance is gone, it switches back to the high gear. Now, the reason behind this, oops, <laughs> well, the reason behind this wheel here is that it gives the gearbox some inertia to switch gears. Without the wheel, let's see if I can pull this off. Without the wheel, the gearbox simply oscillates when it when it's time to switch the gear. So this wheel is kind of crucial for a smooth operation of this gearbox. So this is just a concept. It's not yet perfect. There are still a lot of uh, bugs and things to be solved. But I think it's a good idea. And I think with uh, some proper time and uh, a few more uh, improvements, this could be a viable solution to be used in an actual model or something like that. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.